Will this tape allow me to tap into a deeper sense of culture, beauty, and pathos through the warbling of a well-trained set of pipes? Or is it just highfalutin garbage? That's right, folks. It's time to hire a sitter. Great Uncle Tape Goat is here to take you out to see Opera Imaginaire. We are going to my Opera Imaginaire. So, let's imagine. And here we have the tape, everybody. Glorious cover. Here we have our hunky host. I'd sure like to cuddle up in bed with him for a night. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can relate. We got a barcode. We got a barcode. We got a barcode. Ra rah, rah. But the synopsis of this thing makes a bold claim that these segments were produced by Europe's most talented animators. I don't buy that for a second. Just gonna pop that guy out. Ooh, nice and smooth. Ooh. The label seems to be in great condition, provides you with all of the information that you would want to know, including the runtime, 50 minutes, a little heftier than what I would like, but not that bad, guys. It's like an episode of prestige television. And there you have it, everybody. The tape. Opera. I don't listen to it. I don't listen to it and I don't understand what the people are saying. And that really pisses me off. Why would one want to listen to, you know, music written by a bunch of dead Europeans that you basically have to study in order to understand anything about what's happening? You're a bunch of nerds. But this tape brings a new dimension to operas. It condenses them into 12 funny little cartoons, each in a different style like a cheapo Fantasia. And today we're gonna deconstruct a few of these segments and unleash their secrets, squeeze it out of them. Before we get to the meaty core of this slab of lamb, let's get introduced to our hunky hero of a presenter. For all intents and purposes, we're gonna call him Beef Daddy. Big Daddy gets us all nice and lubed up for the hot and sticky opera jams. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to a gala for a very special occasion. Tonight we are going to celebrate 400 years of opera with some of my very favorite pieces. It isn't long before we're hurled into the place beyond the gramophone, where everyone is a hideous goddamn clown. Pagliacci is the story of Canio and Neda, two performing clowns who decide at one point, hey, you're a stupid clown, I'm a stupid clown, let's get married. Kanye thinks everything is going great, but I guess Nada, she's just too damn thirsty, my guy. Too thirsty for the desert of marriage. Little does Kanye know that behind his back, my bro Beppe is straight sticking his face right up into them married titties. This leads to Kanio becoming depressed and enraged, while from the outside in, everyone just thinks that he's a happy clown, when my guy is really just deeply shooketh and feeling pain at having to compartmentalize it all. He ends up storming the stage, and in what seems at first to be a part of the act, turns out to be really murder. <laughs> it's all good though, because our spooky ghost comes back just to say, hey, no big deal about brutally slaying me in front of a crowd of people. Now that I'm a ghost, let's hug it out, champ. Oh boy, here comes Beef Daddy once more. You may have heard of the jester Rigoletto. Well, his daughter is in love with the Duke of Mantua. I mean, what can I say about this one? It is a testament to a man's love for being surrounded by many bare breasts. Women's breasts. 
This Italian canzone is from the opera Rigoletto by Giuseppe Verdi. It is officially known in America as Ra 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 Boom Die. La donna è nobile, qual fiume al vento, nuda d'aceto e di pensiero. This one features the Duke of Mantua, who is sipping on a robust red. What we're about to learn is that the Duke of Mantua is a right dirty old piggy who is chronically preoccupied with thoughts of boobies. It doesn't take many sips before my guy straight disappears into a world of dancing naked ladies. Luckily, they always seem to remain just outside of his lecherous grasp. <laughs> The song is actually about the Duke's perception that women are flighty, indecisive creatures, so show me a boobs. And that's a literal translation from the original Italian, so believe me. Ah, me. I can't smell that jasmine. Mmm, it is heady perfume for a young British officer, and the jungle's full of dangerous secrets, as well as beauty. Thank you, Beef Daddy. Lakme is an old sad story about a British soldier named Gerald falling in love with a Hindu priestess named Lakme. And it gets a little complicated. <laughs> Boy, are you. There's death. Somebody straight dies for sure. In this video, we see a skinny, pasty little adolescent boy who obviously is played by Timothy Chalamet. Don't tell me it's not. Look at them cheekbones. We are then introduced to Lachme's terrifying CGI spindly fingers that come right out of her butt. <laughs> that turn into snakes. And leopards. Oh. They then grab Timothy by the arm, and he is nearly dragged into her deadlights. She then gently strokes his chin with her wiggly nightmare hands. The end. Bring on Beef Daddy! Ah, of course. Baron Scarpia. Do you know the Baron? Well, take it from me, you don't want to. And neither does Tosca there. She's an opera singer, too. Prepare yourselves for this concluding piece goes horde as fuck. Tosca is an opera that takes place in the 19th century, just a few years after Napoleon's army stormed Italy. The play concerns the plot of a painter, Cavaradò, who gets caught in the crossfire trying to help his old friend, political fugitive Angelotti, escape from Scarpia, the chief of police. Cavaradossi is subsequently arrested, tortured, and sentenced to death. All the while, his love interest, Tosca, who is the namesake of the play, is attempting to arrange his freedom. This next piece features Cavaradossi just chilling in his cell while this super metal angel of death watches over him. Meanwhile, Scarpia is trying to put the hits on Cavaradossi's lover, Tosca, and she straight stabs that incel to death. As Cavaradossi is led away, the angel swoops in and shrouds him in a comfy blanket. Yaw. This turns him into a space god surrounded by birds. Tosca puts a crucifix on Scarpia's bloated corpse. She turns around and finds her pale lover glowering at her, seeming, I guess, a little disappointed? I don't know. I know that in the opera, Cavaradossi straight dies. So there is that. Maybe he's just, you know, being a dead guy. Bring on the big beef daddy! Well, the time has come to leave my friends and their stories. But of course, the magic of music can bring us back here anytime. So that's the tape, everybody. Actually, it's not the tape. It's not even half of the tape. Like I said, there are 12 of these little shits. I easily could have run on for another hour. Gotta keep my shit tight. Gotta keep all this tight. Thanks for watching, everybody. I am Tape Godin. Remember, 
You go out there and you get yourself your own beef daddy. You deserve it. Special thanks to the supporting members of the Go Gang, Ryan Smith. You can join the Go Gang for just $5 a month. Get early access to Go content.